Why is it necessary to meditate at all? Meditation, the meaning of that word, is to ponder over, think over. But also it has also a deeper meaning. Measure. To meditate also means to measure. Now, meditation is the freedom, being free completely from measurement. Measurement being comparison. Well, I am this, I will be that, to compare. To live daily life without a, a shred of comparison. Have you ever done it? No. This is a to live like that, never having an example, never a goal, never an end, never having the future, which is comparison. I am this, I will be that. To live without becoming, which is comparison. When you go into a museum, you compare. You compare between two, clo- two materials. One cloth is better than the other cloth. You compare one car with another car. That's natural, that's necessary. But to have this sense of inward comparison all the time, to be com- completely free of that. That's part of meditation. So the brain then is free from all sense of comparison, except where it's necessary, physically, car, shirt, clothes and so on. Can this, is this possible? Can one live that way, never comparing? See what happens if you don't compare. There is the end of conflict also, right? So meditation is not a practice, not a system, not repeating a mantra. You know that word? You know the meaning of that word? No, but you repeat it. (laughs) Most marvelous country. (laughs) The meaning of that word, mantra, means ponder over, not becoming. And also it means End all self-centered activity. It <laughs> the root meaning of that word in Sanskrit. Ponder, consider, not becoming. The whole question of becoming. And also it means put away altogether all self-centred activity. And if you are given some words and you repeat it, you are playing just a game. It's not worth it. I'm not, the speaker is not telling you not to do it. If you want to do it, you will do it, if it pleases you. But it has no meaning. Your repetition, Ave Maria by the dozen, 
or some your particular mantra. So, meditation means to be free from fear, from all sense of conflict which we have been talking about, and also, much more seriously, the ending of thought. where the thought, which is time, has a stop. You understand? And so, because if there is no, if there isn't a sense of being totally free, the brain then becomes limited, and all its activity will be limited, and the limitless, the timeless, can never be seen, can never exist. 